it's obviously going to get attacked. Oh, okay. It's attacking the pawn because it's got no protection on. We can swing it here. So it's looking for a whirlwind of some sort, but it looks like... Oh, it's got one of my rooks. Just about to say it's looking for a whirlwind. Let's attack their rook. It's actually got our bishop for free. He's got to check on our king as well. Oh, we messed that up. Okay. Let's take... Right, so we've suffered some damage here in this game. A little bit of a clever player. Attack the knight, see where he's going. So he's going up again. So, yeah, quite happy with that. It's got an X-ray through um, onto our queen. It's also attacking the pawn here. Can we make something of this situation? That's the key thing. Let's bring the knight round. Let's attack a rook. Let's just open the dark square bishop. Yeah, I don't think they're squishing my king. So I'm just going to nice and steady away. They're doing all the pawn maneuvers to try and squish the king that way. Let's attack the bishop. Let's make some space and move the knight. It's kind of like lazy man's chess. It doesn't really mean anything because they're kind of like suffering on the back end a little bit. But hey, it looks good. It looks ferocious. If we go here, then the king moves or something has to move because there's nothing else that can get in the way. Can put another check on. But I need to see if there's any pieces I can get into the game. And there isn't really. The knight could, could, but it's going to take a long while. So I'm going to put a check here. It's going to hide eventually. Yeah, so we can't put any more checks there. The knight ooh, has one, then a check. Okay, so if he goes for my queen with the rook, which I'm thinking they're going to do, knight can come here with a check on the king. Yeah, and checkmate. Excellent. If we take this pawn, is pushing down onto here. Or is there a method? I think you put, can push. If he pushes, then we attack the bishop. Oh, let's do it this way. Yeah, there we go. And attack the bishop. Then we have to move the pawn because this pawn is going to be attacking. So let's move this pawn. Give space for the knight. As we said. It's got an x-ray through. And what else do we really want? Time-wise, it's... I'm going to move the queen. And I could hit the... But I'm going to go here. And we could move the knight, but it's going to get taken. Could move the queen. Could push the pawn. Going to move back. Oh, draw. Okay, fair enough. I forgot to check. Okay, yeah, definitely clear there. Let's attack the pawn and develop the knight. Shall we attack the knight? It might do some sort of funky, funky business. Nope. Let's take this rook the pawn structure and let's castle. Shall we push up? I think we can push in the center and take and take the queen. Take the pawn, attacking the pawn. Bishop's attacking, attacking the rook. And anything else? Get the bishop out. It's got a 2 on 1 on the pawn, so I probably moved a little bit quick there. I probably moved a little bit quick. Is there a move order? Nope, let's just take. Attack the rook. Back ranker coming up if he forgets himself. Bishop moves, attacking the knight. Knight can put a check on the king. Take, we're on the pawn. Back ranker coming up. Let's, uh, ooh, nice pawn maneuver. Let's go here. 
the bishop's got that diagonal. So we couldn't push that one. All right, so let's take and be on the bishop. It's on our bishop. I think I'm moving a bit quick here, actually. Let's go here. So he's moved the bishop out of the way. So we potentially need to move our bishop out of the way. He is going to be putting a 2 on one but if he forgets himself, our bishop can take the rook. Yes, I feel I'm moving a bit quick. So I'm going to take this pawn supporting. Oh, the bishop takes. X-ray through onto the rook. Oh, and the rook is trapped. Oh, but he's got a two on one. Ah, he's got a two on one. Gonna push. So it's giving his giving his rook space now. I thought we had it for a second. Let's push. If he forgets. Oh, he's not forgetting. Um okay, push. Let's oh what have I missed? Have I missed something? Am I getting double dosed? No. Okay. Bishop's got the dart square. We'll push here. Attack the pawn. Oh, we can take. Pawn can't take back because of the rook. And bring the bishop here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, because it's protecting the pawn. Pawn can't push at the minute. Shall we attack the rook? Don't move too fast, though, because it's going to make a mistake. Oh, nice one. So we can go here. We'll probably come and take the pawn as a bit of compens. Oh, come on. Okay, let's push. Time's running out. I think if we do... Yeah, let's... Should we take with the bishop? Take with the bishop. Oh, they've resigned. Nice one. But then the pawn's coming here. It's got my bishop. Then the bishop moves. And then it's checkmate. Because I don't have anywhere to go. One space. See what position we can get here. I don't really think that much is happening here. Let's just push this pawn and see if we can get an elevation onto their bishop. And I'm actually going to bring the bishop back. Don't really want to take the knight. It's just going to go a replication knight here. And obviously we're pushing onto the bishop. They would have been waiting for that. All right, so now they've condensed themselves in a little bit. It's like a little bit of a dance that they're doing. And I'm just going to push my pawn here. It's not preventing, but if they do come here with the knight or the bishop or whatever, we can at least take it off the board. So the knight's doing a dance now, so they're getting ready to actually come and attack our king area. I'm going to see if I can open up and start attacking before they attack. So the knight is there, the pawn is there. We do have a bishop, so the bishop can take. If there's a friendly exchange going to be taking place. But at these higher rating levels, they just basically keep the tension, keep the tension. Okay, so got a pawn here that we can take, can take, or we can push onto the knight, elevating the pawn further up, blocking the bishop. Obviously, the head of the snake is going to be taken at some point. And mm, I'm going to go with that. They might be happy bringing the knight here because they want the pawn in here. Strange sort of tactic things. Obviously, as well, they're thinking, well, the pawn's here, or we can attack the knight. Knight can come back, come back. It's not favourable, but we've got the option. So they've moved their knight back. They've not actually taken just yet. So we can physically take. We can bring the bishop here to attack. We can support the pawn, opening up space around our king. Which is more positive? I do like hoping in the centre, but maybe we leave it for now. It's got like loads of pieces on there, so it's like he's waiting for that to happen. 
So if they do that, maybe they're just going to push forward, like we said. So do we just preempt that and move this bishop out of the way? But then our knight is on the back. So I think I'm going to hit this knight. It seems a bit more proactive. It's got the option of basically disrupting their pawn structure. The queen is looking to support. So the queen wants to get into the game. So if the queen lands there. I think we could still take it, you know. But the queen's going to be opposite our king. Can't really do much there, can it, at the moment. So I'm, I'm going to still take the knight. And see if we can dance with the bishop and the queen coming across here. Seems like small potatoes, but let's see if we can do it. Let's bring the bishop here. See if we squeeze here, here. Depends on what the opponent does, though. So we have to be ready to change. Get rid of the tunnel vision. That's an idea. It's a strategy. But it all depends on what the opponent does. I think that's not the strength, but I think that this has got to push or to take one of the other. Try to give space for the knight, maybe to get into the into the equation on the king side. Yep. So let's bring the knight over. Well, just because we expect it doesn't mean it's the best move. I mean, the head of the snake can be hit here which is almost then taking me away from the king's side. We are looking for this type of action. So, oh, bishops getting involved. So do we look to explode on the pawn now? It does weaken this pawn a little bit because then we have to babysit this pawn. If we attack, he doesn't have to take. If he does take, bishop takes, bishops angling through. Or do we continue with the knight where it's potentially got attacking potential let's go with this i think this looks a bit better and feels a bit better so for a very brief moment the opponent's pieces are kind of locked on the other side of the board away from their king so we're trying to make our way in this is what happens um in you know in many games where you see the person using the answer process of attacking the king area um, if you can lock out the opponent or distract them to the other side of the board away from their king so they're doing a lot of what's the word now it looks like mini maintenance type stuff here so i'm going to actually attack the queen like we said is there any benefits to getting the queen here attacking the pawn pawn takes queens here I'm going to bring the queen here and see if there is anything i mean there's all this little baby stuff that can happen but that'll be giving up a pawn so maybe there's some sort of sacrifices going on okay they're still continuing with this pawn maneuver so i'm going to take the chance and go with this it doesn't have to take they may just go well i don't really care because i'm not going to let your queen get in here to then be threatening a, a checkmate. So yeah, that's basically what they've said. So we can take with this pawn. Is there anything else? That's a nice position, but the queen is there. Pawn could push onto the knight. He can take ours. The queen can come here. Yep, so if we pushed onto the knight, where are we, where are we sending the knight to? The knight's trapped. So it can come here. No, it's not trapped. Oh, yeah, it is trapped. It's trapped. So we push there. So the knight's trapped. So they go, right, I'm taking you. Yeah. Then the queen comes here. With a check on the king. This pawn is blocking the queen. So then that looks almost like a mate threat type thing. So I think I'm going to push onto the knight. There could still be some crazy sacrifices, getting rid of bishops, all sorts, messing up the equation. Doesn't have to take. Yeah, look, they're just continuing on. Damn. 
All right, all right, okay, okay. Yeah, they know that there's pressure going here. They don't want to get rid of this pawn. That's a damn shame, isn't it? Ah, oh, man. Oh, so if we take, he's just going to exchange the queen. Then we've got the rook on the bishop. We've got, we're on his knight. He's on our uh, knight. So it's all a bit murky. I'm just going to take because they, they know exactly what's happening here. And I can't find a way in. Damn, the beautiful art of chess. So it's all sorts of stuff happening here. Knights to be taken. Knights to be taken. Queens potentially to be taken. We're on their bishop, so they've got something to think about here. But they're also on our bishop if they take. So we'll probably lose the tempo and get in this knight. But we've got more pieces attacking their pieces, so we've... Oh, and they've resigned. That was, yeah, that was a really nice game. Um headache because we knew what we wanted to do but the opponent saw what we wanted to do and they kept just blocking it off let's have a quick shifty at the analysis there yeah it's only minus two point something they could have carried on but yeah in any event pressure is key but learning to sit back and change your position your strategy constantly all the time that that's the art of chess.